What's up, people? Welcome back to Bloodborne. Today we are heading to the Unseen Village. And I'm going to actually see how this goes. I'm going to make a switch to the Saw Spear. See if that can get us through here. May end up switching back because this I didn't intend to use it. Whoops. I didn't intend to use the Saw Spear quite yet, but uh, I do want to switch it up a little bit. So let's go. So I mentioned before, things start to get a little bit weird from here on out. Or just a little different from what we're used to. The first major difference on this level. Be careful when you pick that up. The first major difference right here is the bell ringers. That will continue to respawn the enemies. Got an elevator over there that doesn't work. So we're going to come back to that. Now, be very careful for multiple reasons on the staircase. And I just got stuck right there. Keep rolling. Keep rolling. So we want to get up here and we want to kill her as quickly as possible. They'll all be stunned for a minute. Alright. So now we can exhale. Bolt attacks. Bolt to your attacks. Excuse me. Come on, shoot one more. Okay, now that that's out of the way, if we go out here, this is kind of funny. Door's locked. Where do we go? How are we ever going to continue on? And if you just look right over here to the left, bam. So you can hear the bell. We have another bell ringer. Along with the big guy here. an item there but actually what I would recommend is ripping straight over here watch out watch out for pistol Pete and once you take out the bell ringers in in each little specific area then you can kind of I don't want to say relax, but just gets a little less stressful. And I, if you don't know about that mechanic when you come in here, this place is the worst. this way out there we got some witches that way we got some witches up here we got witches everywhere you can hear the bell ringer but we're not going to be able to see her whoops what you want to do is go ahead and drop right off here drop down again 
Uh, the, some of the witches may follow you down or accidentally fall down here with you. So be careful. But right there's our bell ringer. Oops. There we go. Alright. So. While you're up here. Don't go off the edge here. You want to actually drop down in here. And we got the upper cathedral key, which in a much earlier episode, we went up to the healing church workshop and we went all the way to the top and we couldn't open the door. That is the key right there to that door. Another little tricky spot here. You see this guy, you want to go out and deal with him, but you got to make sure you take him out first. down sir right here it's another hunter's tool tiny tenitris take a look at it real quick can't use it requires 25 arcane we're not going to be anywhere near that but you strike the ground to emit blue sparks so it's really cool if you're rocking a heavy arcane build, which we are obviously not. All right. The witches have all charged up here. When you come back up, be careful, be ready for them. Another chunk. I believe we need one more. Alright. So this is another area that can get kind of messy. This works. We kind of want them. We. It's easier, I think, if you deal with these ladies right here. See how, see how we can draw them all over. So, that's what I was getting ready to explain. <clears throat> As you can probably guess, that does a lot of damage. You don't want to get caught up in that. So, let's try to bait it out one more time. And we're going to run straight down the stairs here. Oh, got hit by it. That's fine. All right, when you come in here, don't relax just yet. You want to turn this corner. There's our chunk. Make sure we light the lamp and think about it here real quick. I think I can get a level in real quick and we can reset here and upgrade. So let's go ahead and do that. First thing we're gonna do, and I'm actually gonna switch back to the cleaver. All right, so now we got a plus seven. And we got a blood gem, so let's check that out. Nothing there. Nothing there. Actually, I think it was a triangle one. So it might be good here. Nope. Nothing worthwhile. Welcome, what is... 
Very well, let me... All right, we're just gonna keep chipping away at endurance. Farewell, good hunter. Let's go ahead and head back in. We want to go to the Yahargal Chapel. All right, when we come back, we're gonna have another bell ringer coming up. For that, I want to plunge down on this guy. Uh, it's easier if you stay up there and take that guy out rather than dropping down where the dogs can do that to you. Alright, dude. So that was massively sloppy. There's our bell ringer. All right, big guy. What in the? Watch out for that guy. Okay. <clears throat> so here comes. Three of the most bullshit enemies in the game. The Three Stooges of Yarhagal. We're going to come down here and then we're going to head back. Where are you? Come on, dude. I know you're there. Here we go. So here's the first one. You do not want to aggro these guys all at once. So we want one. We're going to fight one, and you'll see one is more than enough. There's Tiny Tenitris. Oh, God almighty. Okay. So, what we want to do... Come on, dude. Of course. He, he knew what was coming for him. These guys suck so bad. Now, if you're having a lot of trouble with them, and I, I don't want to do this, but you can cheese the mess out of them. We're going to get some poison on that guy. All right. So we got poison on him. We got to watch out for... can interrupt us. Oh, what? Now he doesn't have his pistol out, so we're going to go completely bananas on him. All right, one down. We got a claw mark rune. The other guy's right outside. So this guy, you can cheese actually through the wall. But we're, again, we're not going to do that. We're going to fire paper. It's actually let's let's rock some hunter bone against this guy. Ooh, watch the flame spray sprayer. Back up, heal up. Oh, no. Negative, sir. He's going to tenitris us. Alright, so Mo and Larry are down, and now we got to deal with Curly. And C 
Curly has a giant cannon. And the damn rifle spear. So he is a cheese ball extraordinaire. What I'm going to do is... Alright, so he's got that cannon out. And that's... I don't like messing with him when he has his cannon out. Because I have... Not... He still haunts my dreams from one-shotting me with that thing. So he switched back. <laughs> Cheesy ass, man. No! God. Play a little ring around the rosy here. I think he switched to the cannon. Him. He's, he's gonna try to get cheesy. He try to wall bang me. All right, come on. Uh. So much damage. Man, I am on the edge of my seat right now. There's the cannon. Let's top it off. Come on. Oh no! Jeez, man. I hate these guys so much and I'm almost out of everything here all right let's go in on it oh my god might have to bust out your Sefka's blood vial here I'm, I may just be giving this guy too much respect, but with that damn cannon, man. Oh, yeah. We're going to have to go for... This is going to get me killed. I'm not good at that. Alright, forget that. Did he retreat? This is stupid. It's right at the top. Alright. I have made a complete mess of this guy. I didn't do too bad on the first two. God. Oh my God. Unbelievable. Look at that mess. Zero vials. Quarter health bar. I hope that was at least entertaining. Because I'm telling you, I'm on the edge of my seat. Sweating. And it's, I'm telling you, that, that those are emotional scars from long ago. Yeah, look at that. I'm going to bonfire this hunter, uh, this lamp. <laughs> uh, those guys totally blew my composure right out of the water.
And uh, do keep in mind, you don't even have to fight him. You can run straight through. And I will show you that Very when well. I head back in. Let the echo play. All right, cool. We're at 35. Farewell, good hunter. May you? Throw my... Yep, I threw my moon back on. What are we looking at? And we may get a longer. Last episode was kind of short, so let's... Uh, I'll give you... Try to give you your money's worth on this one. Okay. Luckily, they don't respawn. I will be... Ooh. We're just going to scoot on through there because I've wasted enough time. All right. So... Are these guys really going to follow me all the way out here? No. All right. So we're going to come through and be careful because we have a really dangerous enemy. That thing looks ridiculous, but I assure you it hits insanely hard. Our bell ringer is right up here. That item right there is actually a trap. If you look down through the bars there, you can actually see that one of those... I forget what they're called. It's actually cramped coffins, I think is what they're called. Uh, it's a really cool enemy, but man, they suck. So, that is an ambush down there. And why not? See if we can bait him out here. Yep, there it was. Oh no! <laughs> it's worth it. It's worth it. I'm not even gonna fight him. Oh, that item was calling my name too. So you can go this way as I run from these guys. We're actually gonna come back and get smoked. By that guy. But we're not going to go that way. Uh, that actually is a more difficult way to continue on. So we're going to take the easier route since this has already been a traumatic episode for me. Alright, so we're going to jump in here. And we're going to turn around and roll off. Now, that elevator is the one that we saw at the very beginning of the episode that I said wasn't working so that now that's working but we will never really need it but it's nice to know right okay around the corner to macho madness and we're starting to really chunk it up now, which is beautiful. This weird, weird thing. Twin shards and another chunk. So, I'm going to go ahead and inspect the bath. And we pop up here, and I will make sense of where we're at in just a second. First thing we're going to do is run and take her out, as usual. Okay, so 
if we look out that direction that's where we just were straight ahead way off in the distance where I was running around where the ambush was I picked up the two chunks sorry I had to clear my throat so if you keep coming you're gonna come down the street towards where we're at and there's all kinds of there's like three or four cramped coffins down there and you can see them down here that the ones across the street will start shooting their projectile attacks at you while the one that you're close to is trying to smash you there's a guy up there shooting down it's difficult I don't recommend it so the way we came is the safe way And that's that's how we're gonna do things, right? At this guy. So, whoops. As you can see, these are just like the uh, beasts from the first when we first entered Yarnum. So just fight them the same way, even though they look ridiculous. And you can see that, guys. That's the projectile attack right there. Super annoying. Nice. Got some vials can run across take that guy out and, and it, trying to look around for you to see that we're not really missing any items by taking the route that we took we're gonna get pretty much everything so you don't really need to worry about that frenzied cold blood Quiet when you're coming down, you can get a visceral on this guy nice and easy. More twin shards and the tempering damp blood gem. Very, very good. We will definitely be slapping that on. All right, so again, you can walk out here and you can deal with them or you can continue to play it smart and head up around this way. Try to sneak around here without aggroing that guy. And those enemies really aren't all that bad to fight one on one. They're kind of easy to maneuver. But honestly, there's just, I mean, the way we're going is the way I would always recommend. So there's an item right around the corner that we're going to pick up. We're going to let that guy turn around. And I'm going to warn you that this right here is going to take us straight into the boss. And I believe I used all my... Alright, so we'll, we'll do that. So here we go. We're going to pick this up. Arcane Lake. We're going to scoot by. Get hit. And we're just going to keep running. Maybe do a little serpentine. So we don't get hit. And as we run right into here, we're going to get into the boss fight. Alright. Comes a very disturbing cutscene.
the one reborn so if you've played demon souls or you've watched my demon souls walkthrough you will instantly think of tower knight very first time i fought this boss as soon as i walked in here i knew right away what was going on this had tower knight written all over it so what i mean by that is if you're not familiar you need to take out the enemies up top before you can fight the boss because they're just going to continue to make things difficult for you so we'll take them out then we deal with the boss now do be careful because he can hit you up here and you can see him coming over trying to protect his ladies there he is we want to get out of there as quick as possible all right now we're going to go ahead and use bolt and i'll use the old hunter bone again and i'm going to be honest with you i fight this guy like a complete jerk i just run in and start smashing away and i take take hits but what you do want to do is when you drop him come over and start hitting here He has some dangerous attacks, like that can be dangerous. Right. So what I want to do is I want to let my, watch the puke and the slam. He's got all kinds of messy stuff going on. So be, you have to be careful because he's not a complete pushover. Let's move back. Let's hit him here. Keep an eye on your health. Watch the puke. Let's bolt back up. Uh, when he's going crazy, you gotta watch out for that. Let's see if we can't get behind him here. He was ready for us, wasn't he? Watch out for the kickers. All right, forget that. That's going to hurt. <laughs> See, I'm telling you, I fight this guy like a complete jerk. I show him zero respect. And I might get to pay for it there. woo -hoo -hoo. Oh, and he's down too. Oh my god, I got trapped and I rolled into his vomit. <laughs> oh, puke damage. we drop him one more time whoa all right A very sloppy fight on my part I mean I will admit that every time just how I fight this guy <laughs> that's just how I do it the old attempted tank and spank when I actually really End up kind of getting beat up in that fight. All right, here we go. Well, 
We're going to lamp it up. Man, this has turned out to be the longest episode, I think, of the whole series, really. We're sticking with our cleaver. Plus eight. We've almost got that one maxed. We can actually... Plus five our torch, even though our torch is kind of gone by the wayside. Ooh, we do want to do this for certain. Bam. I must die. Same thing then. Okay. Which means. Oh yeah, we don't want to add any of those, so we're going to keep that the same. Does that afford our axe any? Not that we're even using it. Hmm. Yeah, wait. Let's see about this one. Nope. Okay. Already got that. Level up real quick, then we'll call it. Well, what? Very well. Sweet. So we are almost there. Two more levels, and then we're going to start pouring in the damage for the home stretch. All right. Awesome. Long episode. Hopefully, it was entertaining for you guys. I know it was a little more wild than than the previous ones but uh we made it so i uh, will see you on the next episode